Hey everybody, surf fish in Florida. And as you can see, we're in for a tough day today. These waves are seven to eight feet or maybe even more. There's a whole bunch of sticks in the water, but we're gonna try to get at least one whiting so we can use some cut bait to get the blue fish. We drove all the way down here, so we're not gonna leave. We've been here almost an hour and a half. And like the other trip, it was so hazy and misty, I couldn't even film. As you can see with the sticks all the way up against the dunes, that's how far the surfs came up. We had to put all of our stuff all the way up against the dune or it would have got wet. And she's roaming up and down the beach. You can't put anything in the pipe now. You got to hold the rod. And you could see the waves come up and get all the way behind her up against the dunes. Wow, that is unbelievable. Hold that thing up. I want to just uh, uh, bring in and... Wow, that's good. And the sun's coming out. This is good. Look at that surf. All the way up and down the beach. This is pretty epic. I think some of those waves, about 150 yards out, they're probably 10 feet tall. But now we got that whiting, we're gonna be staying probably all day now because I'm putting the cut bait rig on. Let's get some bluefish. We got lucky with her getting that whiting. So I'm gonna put two little pieces on one of our cut bait rigs, the double six o rig with a five ounce sinker and I might have to put a spider weight on. I'm not putting any shark baits because I don't think I can put the rod in the pipe. I think I'm gonna have to hold it. Well, the current's too strong. So I'm putting on a four and a half ounce spider weight. Maybe I can put it in the rod holder, but I think I'm just gonna have to keep holding it. There's some sticks out there but the five ounce weight was just skipping down the beach with no sticks on the line. So definitely heavy current. She's got two ounce spider weight on her rod. Well, we're filming every trip. I don't know how long we're gonna stay because you can't even put the rod in the pipe. The current washes it down even with the spider weight. So you gotta hold it and keep recasting it. Maybe she can get a bluefish on the light shark rod. She's got one, believe it or not. If the GoPro's filming. That looks like a good fish too. Yeah. Oh, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> We're lucky to even get the catfish, right? Yeah. One catfish and one whitey. If it would have been anything else, it probably would have got off. All right, I'm definitely taking it off. She's starting to catch them now. She thinks it's a catfish. It doesn't matter. On a day like today. I just had a... A tangle in the braid on the light shark rod. And when I went to look at it, there was a fray in it, so I had to cut it. It's a little whiting. That's a little whiting. Ah, uh, let it go, because I'm not even going to go up to the car and get the other rod. Okay. okay, that's about 30 feet of braid I lost, because when I was checking the tangle, I noticed the fray in it, so if a shark would have grabbed it, it would have busted the line instantly. So any little nicks in the braid, you have to cut it. So I'm putting the rig up, I'm not even going to go to the car, she can just keep fishing with the bait rod. Wow, what a day. Well, we've been here almost five and a half hours, I don't know how much longer we got, but it's up to her and the bait rod. I'm not going to go up to the car and get a shark rod and throw it out there, the current's too bad. And the way I look at it, if I wouldn't have got the tangle in the braid, 
I would have never seen that nick in the line, and if I would have hooked the shark with that rod, it would have snapped it for sure. Even just a tiny nick in the braid degrades it about 90%. See how good it'll show up? Because it's pretty cloudy outside. Look at the current bending that little eight foot star rod. That's that little two ounce spider weight. It's holding the bottom. Every once in a while it pops up and then it catches again and puts that deep bend in that little rod. That is some current. It's about an hour before low tide and as you can see, the surf is still huge. Some of those waves when they break about 150 yards out, they're probably seven, eight feet tall still, even though it's gonna be low tide soon. So she's gonna fish a little bit longer and then we're out of here. I think she's got another little whiting, which isn't much, for, but for today, that's pretty good. Is it on there? Oh, look, hold it up. Look at how small that top one is. Wow, a little double whiting. That one on the top is probably five inches long. So that's now four whiting and the catfish, right? <laughs> I was ready to go, but she wanted to stay. And now that she's got the little double whiting, I guess uh, <laughs> we're gonna stay even longer. good job I guess I'll just sit in the chair and wait for you to catch them all right we're wrapping it up a tough day battling the huge surf and the current she got the four whiting and a catfish so it is what it is thanks for watching